Have you ever thought much about the word pivot? It can mean a couple of different things. It can be used as a verb, as in to pivot, or as a noun, as in a pivot. As a verb, it means to turn or rotate, twist or swirl. As a noun, it can mean a specific point in a mechanical device like a fulcrum, or it often refers to something that is central or important, something that has a major or central role or function or effect on something else. Both of these apply to pivot tables in Excel. Pivot tables are the single tool in Excel that can organize, filter, summarize, and make sense of enormous amounts of data with relative ease and little technical skill. This series tackles the concept and teaches the skills necessary to work successfully with pivot tables in Excel. My name is Erin Olson, and I've been providing computer training through my company, PC Keys Technology Solutions, for more than 20 years now. As an instructor, I work to try to read the questions running through people's heads, even though they may not be asking them outright. One of the questions you may be asking yourself at this point is, why exactly do I need to take a course on pivot tables? If you're a fairly new user of Excel, or if you haven't taken any formal training, this may not actually be your first question. Your first question may be, what exactly is a pivot table? And then, why do I need one? For you, we'll answer these questions simply and quickly in the first couple of videos with examples that are easy to relate to while allowing you to appreciate the big picture benefits and outcomes as well. On the other hand, if you're an experienced Excel user, you may be wondering why anybody needs to have an entire class specifically on pivot tables. What I have found is that many skilled users haven't considered pivot tables, either because they aren't sure exactly how their data can benefit from using them, or they have an inaccurate impression that they're difficult to create and use. We'll be giving you all kinds of examples of how pivot tables can simplify summarizing and making sense out of data and show you that they are actually one of the simplest things to work with in Excel. Now, how often can you say that? That creating something impressive that simplifies complex data is also easy. Well, that's what we'll be doing. In this series, we want to make sure that you can understand the purpose, the structure, and the data requirements for pivot tables. It's easy, but it's also critical to understand before you get to work creating your own. Then we'll tackle each component of that, including how to manipulate data, modify calculations, sort, filter, apply formatting, and even making them more compact and visual than they already are through the use of pivot charts. When we're done, you'll know how to find and use the many tools Excel provides that allow you to create, modify, and personalize pivot tables to meet your needs and how simply applying and expanding some basic skills you already have, like formatting calculations, can be used to make impressive, engaging pivot tables that turn confusing data into useful information. We'll be taking on pivot as a verb by using pivot tables to physically arrange and summarize data in ways that make sense and are easier to understand. We'll be also taking on pivot as a noun because pivot tables act as a metaphoric fulcrum, empowering us to make data meaningful. So if you're ready to see how this amazing feature of Excel can help you summarize and simplify your data, then let's go ahead and get going, figuring out how Microsoft Excel pivot tables can help us summarize and simplify data.